Hi Diane, this is my first time paying for council tax and I'm not too sure what my paying options are. Hello Newton, with council tax it's important to remember it's a priority debt. The consequences of not paying and not budgeting can quickly cause the council to take action against you, causing further stress and more expense. When making any payments for council tax or discussing with the council your payment options, you will need a reference number. This can be found on your council tax bill. If you are unable to find a council tax reference number, you can contact Coventry City Council. What are my options for actually paying for the council tax bill then? Well, you have two options, pay in a lump sum or pay by instalment. Most people don't prefer to pay in a lump sum, which means you pay all of the council tax at once. Most people like to pay in instalments, which means it's divided across the year, and at the end of the year, you will have paid all of your council tax liability. There are a few options for methods of payment when it comes to council tax. These are direct debit, standing orders, paying online, paying over the phone, paying at the bank, and even paying at the post office. What is the difference between the standing order and the direct debit? And how would I set up a standing order and a direct debit? Direct debits are great because you can choose what day of the month you want to pay and it's a regular scheduled payment so you don't have to worry about forgetting to pay. It's easy to set up. To set up a direct debit, you need to sign up online at the council's website. The information you need to do, this is your council tax reference number, your bank account number and your sort code. Standing orders are very similar to direct debit payments in terms of regularity of payments and not having to remember to pay. However, standing orders are set up with the bank so you won't be able to pick the day that you would pay on. I don't know, could you tell me a little more about the other options? Of course, you can also pay at your bank. You can go into any branch except for HSBC. All you need is your council tax bill, debit payment card and customer reference number to do this. I don't live very close to my bank, what else can I do? Alternative options are paying online or over the phone. For payments online, this can be done whenever you like and you can log on to the council's website, onto your council tax account and pay through this method or quick pay and make payments on your account. Similarly, the phone lines are open 24-7, so you can ring up with your council tax reference number and make a payment on your bill. You may also pay at the post office. It is very important to bear in mind that if you pay at the post office, it can take seven working days for the payment to reach the council. Therefore, you must allow enough time for this to prevent yourself from paying late, as this can have serious consequences which will be discussed later. To pay at the post office, you need to take a council tax bill, which must contain a barcode for the post office to scan. This is usually found on the first page of the bill. You can pay by cash, debit or credit card, or by cheque addressed to post office counters. There is no extra charge for making payments. So I have quite a few options for payment. How do I choose which one to use? The best thing to do is pick something that suits your circumstances. For example, if you have problems remembering when to make payments on a bill, direct debit makes sure that you won't miss a payment. Hi Diane. Hi Newton, how are you? I'm good. Um, however, I'm paying my council tax bill um, month by month by instalment, but I'm very worried that I will not be able to afford the next month's payment. I already have previous council tax debt, and I'm so stressed about the whole situation. What do I do? This is very common, so try not to panic. There are a few steps which you can take to try and resolve this situation. If you can't afford your current council tax, it could be worthwhile to see if you're entitled to any discounts, council tax support or exemptions, which could reduce your current council tax bill. This could also reduce debt from previous years. Is there any way to spread out my payments more? If you're paying by instalments, you can alter the number of instalments from 10 to 12. Rather than paying from April to January, it will be extended from April to April. This reduces your monthly liability to the council by extending the time you have to pay off the council tax bill. On my bill though, it shows only 10 instalments. How would I make it to 12 payments? The bill has already been made for this year. Would I have to wait until next year of council tax? With council tax, you should keep the council aware of any issues or changes you wish to make. 
So if you want to extend the payments to 12 payments, you can contact the council and they will calculate this for the remainder of council tax which you owe. It's always better to contact the council and try and negotiate how you can pay your council tax rather than missing payments because if you start missing payments, the council will very quickly start action which could trigger further costs. What about my past debt? I still owe council tax from previous years. It's really important that you know which year's council tax you're paying. This means are you paying for your current council tax bill or previous council tax debt? If you're making regular payments, the council will assume this is for the current council tax year. So if you want payments to go towards past debt, you need to contact the council. I can barely afford my current council tax bill though. How am I also meant to pay off all my past debt? How much does the council expect me to be paying? For past debt, you can create a payment arrangement with the council by contacting them. You'll remain liable for the debt until it's been paid off. Therefore, even paying minimal amounts per week is better than paying nothing, even if this is just £5 a week. If you're unable to pay both your council tax and payment plan, you should prioritise your current council tax bill, as this will prevent further council tax debt from arising. You mentioned that I should be contacting the council. What should I say to them? Is there anything specific that I should do? There are a few things to keep in mind when contacting the council. These include Get the name of the customer service operator for future reference if necessary. You can note down the date, time, name of the operator, what you speak about and what you agree on, if anything. Be sure about what you want to discuss with the council. Explain your personal circumstances, as the council needs to understand your financial situation. Therefore, even if you're not prompted, it is always best to explain your circumstances. For example, you should talk about any ill health, disability benefits, care and responsibilities, or if you're a single parent. The council should take a note of these things. If the council is unwilling to compromise or understand your side, it is better to call them back. There is no point in agreeing to a payment plan which you cannot afford. Therefore, do not agree to anything you are unable to do. Finally, at the end of the call, if you have come to any agreements, make sure to summarise this with the operator. This is so both you and the council are on the same page about any commitments which have been made. The importance of this process is that there are undesirable consequences of non-payment of council tax debt. Before we start discussing the consequences of non-payment, please bear in mind that no matter what stage of the process you're at, you can still discuss ways to pay and mitigate the debt with the council. For example, even if you have received a court summons, you can still contact the council to discuss with them your situation. As a starting point, you must pay in accordance with how you have agreed with the council. If you fail to do so, the council has no alternative but to issue further reminders and initiate proceedings to get the money that is owed. As the consequences of not paying the council taxes a lump sum are quite straightforward, we will focus on the consequences of non-payment of instalments. You will initially be given 14 days to pay your first instalment. If you do not do so, the council will issue the first reminder notice. A reminder notice is issued when an instalment is not paid on the date as specified on the council tax bill. You will be given seven days after receiving the letter to make the payment. If you fail to pay again, you will become liable for the full amount of council tax for that year, which you must pay within seven days. If, however, you do pay the instalment, no further action will be taken. However, if in one year of council tax you get issued with two reminder notices and fail to pay for the third time, you will lose the ability to pay by instalments. This means that you may be issued with a final notice to pay the whole amount of council tax remaining for that year. A final notice will give you a seven-day deadline to make the payment. You will not be issued with any reminders. Once given a final notice, if you still fail to pay within seven days, you will receive a court summons for the Magistrates' Court. This court summons will be issued to each person liable for the council tax. Moreover, the council will add a charge of £78.5 to your account if it has to issue the summons. At this stage, to prevent further proceedings, you must pay the full year's council tax, as well as the cost of receiving the summons before the hearing. If this occurs, no further action will be taken. However, 
you may still have to attend the hearing as a formality. If you're unable to make the full payment, there's an alternative option. You can contact the council to discuss a repayment plan. If you are going to do this, you may be asked questions such as who your employer is, your earnings, your workplace address, and for the information of others who are liable for the bill. You may be asked to make an immediate payment to reduce the outstanding amount, or the council may start taking money directly from some benefits, for example, from universal credit. This option may prevent further actions being taken by the council, as you will have a plan to pay off the council tax debt, but this is not guaranteed. It is important that you do not agree to anything which you will be unable to fulfill. The subsequent step is that if after three weeks you have failed to pay the balance, the council can issue a liability order to the Coventry Magistrates Court. A liability order means that the council taxpayer is liable to pay the amount of council tax and has yet to pay it. Therefore, the council can begin recovering the debt which is owed. The council can do this in many ways, most commonly through enforcement officers, also known as bailiffs. There are further steps in this process which fall out of the remit of this informational video. However, if you're going through any of these stages or any subsequent proceedings by Coventry City Council, it can be hugely beneficial to contact independent organisations who can provide you with specialised advice tailored to specific circumstances. These include Coventry Independent Advice Service, Coventry Citizens Advice, Coventry Law Centre, and many more. These organisations and their contact details will be available for your reference below in the video description.